How does a stalagmite form? Caves can be decorated with fantastic features, often referred to as dripstones. You might have heard of stalactites, the ones hanging from the top, or stalagmites, the ones growing from the floor. Actually, many other forms can be found in caves. But scientists are mostly interested in stalagmites because of their well-defined way of growing. For a stalagmite to form, generally three things are needed. Soil, a limestone bedrock, and rainwater. Oh, and a cave beneath the limestone bedrock, and typically also vegetation growing on the soil. So, if those five conditions are provided, a stalagmite can form. This is how it works. Rain falls on the surface above a cave, and the rainwater penetrates the soil. This rainwater is in chemical equilibrium with the CO2 concentration of the atmosphere. In soils, however, the CO2 concentration is much higher than in the atmosphere. This is because huge amounts of microbes decompose plant material and fill the soil pores with air. As the rainwater percolates through the soil, it starts equilibrating with soil air by taking up CO2. Thus, the water becomes acidic. And once it reaches the limestone, the lime, CaCO3, gets dissolved. This solution then enters the cave and drips from the ceiling. But in the cave, the CO2 concentration is again much lower compared to soils. So, when the drip water reaches the cave, the CO2 degasses and the equilibrium in the solution is disturbed. As a result, the solution becomes supersaturated. It is unstable and readily crystallizes, precipitating calcium carbonate. If this happens over thousands of years, stalagmites, as well as stalactites, can form. It depends on the drip rate. The drop can either hang for a long time at the ceiling, and all the CaCO3 precipitates up there. This then produces a stalactite. Or the drops fall down quickly, and the CaCO3 precipitates there forming, over thousands of years, a stalagmite. Of course, any combination in between is also possible. And, did you know, the crystal lattice of the stalagmites and stalactites stores information about climatic conditions above the cave. Now you know how a stalagmite can form. <laughs>